If I say border, I say cake. <laughs> what are the first three things that come to your mind? Cake. Cake? I'll be serious, but those are the first three <laughs> things that come to my mind. Uh, border, uh, 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 conflict, uh, conf uh, uh, confusion, uh, anxiety. Oh. If I'd say border to you, what are the first three things that comes to your mind? I'm not sure if I'm going to say three things, but the first thing that comes to my mind is I watched the... Uh, a speech from a movie there was a very smart kid he was reading and the man approached him it was a politician he approached him and asked why doesn't he have a passport and he said like why do I need a passport do animals need a passport to cross to go wherever they want and it made me thoughtful because really animals don't need passports and still they 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 live happily Maybe happy. I don't. I cannot say if they are happy. But animals live a natural life, and uh, I think a natural life doesn't have borders. But of course, for economics reasons, for political reasons, there should be borders. But to me, in my heart, I feel like I have no borders. Culture is not the same everywhere, but we can make friends everywhere. We can understand every type of people. It doesn't matter if I'm from Moldova, it doesn't matter if I'm Turkish, it doesn't matter if I'm a Jew, it doesn't matter if I'm white or black, there is no border such as that in human beings. Uh, well, for me borders, it's, it's a, it has a more political meaning, because uh, five years ago uh, I moved to Turkey and before I lived in a different co country and changed places there as well. So when I moved here, I didn't feel like stranger or foreigner. So this place, now this place is my home. So I think borders are just like, um, I don't know, it divides country in geographical meaning. I was asked to talk briefly about the borders and how I felt about them. And essentially this can be broken down into two types. The first one being physical borders, geographical, and these can be man-made or can be natural. And the second, and this is what we'll focus on, is the uh, mental borders or psychological borders, <clears throat> which can be created in different ways. Uh, the first being by a false narrative or a false premise that is usually created to undermine a certain uh, culture or tradition. Um, it was used a lot in the, the process of colonization. And the other, the other reason this may occur is from um, a person not uh, leaving their, their environment. So they become, they don't taste or, or experience anyone else's tradition, anyone else's culture, and they begin to become narrow-minded. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, uh, mentions this in the Quran. He says that he made men and women and people different tribes to get to to know one another and this really the meaning is really to transcend these mental borders and, and begin to become well-rounded uh, experience other people's culture engage with other people and other traditions if I ask you about borders what are the first three things that comes to your mind um, conflict not visible and not necessary if you ask me about border i think about the map of turkey and i try to imagine all the borders that we have in our country like yeah and the second thing comes to my mind is visa and visa is hard to pay and hard to get and because you have to pay and you have to pass the test and there's a lot of processing that uh, 
Also, the third thing is when you say border, it means there is another country. That means there is another people over there and new culture or not new but different culture and it means you can uh, discover that culture, meet new people and make new friends and empower yourself. That's what that's when you say border that comes to my mind Sardi actually. Yeah um if I say you border, what are the first three things that come to your mind? The first and the second word that come into my mind is a bad word. A politics, a war. The politics, the politics made war. <laughs> and the two of the, those words are bad. And the third word which is coming to my mind is the decision of the question which means humans love <laughs> yeah human love because boundary is something that is making the people common and making interesting to each other the first three things that are coming to my mind when someone is asking me about borders uh, what can I say? It's uh, the first one. It's passport. The second, it's uh, limits, and the third one, it's about uh, adventure, possibilities, and fun time. What you can spend while you, you know, across of the borders of your country and so on. For example, when I was traveling to to Greece. Uh, I had a landlubber uh, in Belgrade, in Serbia, and like almost eight hours. And I decided to go to visit this city in Belgrade. It was, well, I was alone, but it was very beautiful. The second thing that I'm thinking when I say border is that borders is only in our minds, and borders are here because of fear. Because of fear that somebody will will harm us, will, I don't know, something like that, because we all have a comfort zone and we put a border. It's first, it is a psychological border because nobody can come close to you and, and you, you cannot feel comfortable when somebody is coming too close to you and uh, it grows little by little and becomes a, a physical border because it's the same principle. You cannot allow somebody to come into your comfort zone. That's the second. For me, uh, I think it should be borders between the countries and between people. And I don't know, this is all I think when it came in my mind when you say borders. Uh, it's like just a. Uh, like to say, this uh, border is just like. Uh, Separating a uh, country, but uh, no people, no the people. For me, border uh, has uh, three main definitions. The first definition is a physical border uh, between some things. The second definition is a border between countries, for example, between Russia and China, or USA and Canada. No. And uh, the third definition. It's a psychological border uh, between uh, humans' thoughts. For example, uh, one person can't uh, understand uh, another one. When someone says borders, uh, the first thing comes to my mind is separation. Border separates people, nations, and uh, countries, and lives. So, uh, I don't like borders. Secondly, the first thing comes to my mind when someone says borders and I change the view like that. There are ca cafes, restaurants and some uh, entertainment places in Rumelisare. A, a very beautiful neighborhood. So, when someone says border, uh, secondly, it comes to my mind 
cold things. Uh, we live in Istanbul, Turkey. And Istanbul is in the northwest of Turkey. The uh, nearest uh, neighbor countries are Bulgaria and Romania. They are in no they are northern countries and uh, they are cold countries. So we have borders with them. So uh, it gives me some kinds of inspiration as coldness. Uh, so when the when someone says border, I feel cold things. I uh, understand it cold in a cold manner. So and after that, the third thing. When someone says borders to me and uh, differences, there are two different walls at the both sides of the borders. For example, Turkey and Greece, and Turkey and Bulgaria are different cultures, different religions, and etc. And uh, people, life, and social and economic differences are sometimes surprising and unbelievable between the two countries so border uh, inspires me difference so if i ask you about borders what are the first three things that comes to your mind well the first thing that is coming in my uh, mind about the border is the border that people are putting in front of themselves between mm -hmm. the communication with the other people that's the border actually that is only border that is existing for me the other border the other meaning of border maybe that is coming in my mind but I don't accept it it's may maybe the real border the state border the country border which is uh, not allowing the people to cross some imaginary things, some imaginary territory and go somewhere else that they want. Other border is maybe the border that we are putting not only around ourselves, but the border that we are putting in our mind. If I say border, what are the first three things that come to your mind? When I think of a border, I am imagining a wall, actually the Berlin Wall. I'm imagining how people are trying to overcome it. And uh, I'm imagining something that, uh, that shouldn't exist. Hello guys, I'm Dennis and I'm also the one who is standing behind of the camera. And as you see, there were multifarious answers and various people and I can say look, they're open-minded and if I ask to myself about borders the first thing that comes to my mind is street artist Banksy's work a man throwing a flower uh, instead of Molotov cocktail I think and the man is kind of a protester and second thing is a soldier because soldiers are fighting for borders and the third thing is a sentence of Mevlana Jalalatin Rumi he is saying only from the heart can you touch the sky if we have same heart if we have same sky we don't need borders we don't have borders and there will be no borders for sure Thank you.